What's up guys welcome back to Android app development tutorials now in this video I am gonna talk about contextual menu related to toolbar now first of all let me show you what is a contextual menu now in case of applications when you long press any list view item the action bar or the toolbar at the top changes and it display view menu if you press on delete then it deletes the item or you can perform other operations from this overflow menu so to implement this contextual menu what we need to do let me show you inside the Android studio now here inside the Android studio inside my activity main.xml I have implemented a checkbox find that you can see at the center of the screen start contextual action bar clear this is our checkbox I have given it a ID and the text is start contextual action bar and inside the main activity Java, I have initialized this checkbox right here and I have completed the initialization of the checkbox here fine now here I have implemented the set on check change listener and here I have written if statement if the checkbox is checked then do this else do this so as of now nothing too complex and rest of the codes are from the previous tutorials itself all codes are present here so we don't have to worry about all those codes we will continue our discussion further and we will implement a contextual action bar so the question arises how to implement a contextual action bar in the previous few videos we discussed about menu main.xml that we implemented in our toolbar now similar to menu main.xml I have created this contextual menu.xml now if you move inside the contextual menu.xml I have here one single item yes this is our item item delete and here I am using the default icon at the rate android colon drawable slash ic menu delete clear now the show as action I have written if room with text clear and the title is delete so as of now let us do one thing let us run our application now as of now our application is looking somewhat like this we are having a checkbox now if you select this checkbox now this checkbox is having some deep orange color now this is the accent color that we defined in the very first tutorial very second demonstration tutorial this is our color accent this one and this is a deep orange color that we can clearly see in our checkbox by default this checkbox should appear blue but in the material design theme we have implemented it as an accent color of orange so nothing great as of now so when we are going to click on this checkbox this toolbar is going to be converted into what into contextual action bar let me show you the steps in the main activity Java now guys we need to initialize our action mode so let us write our action mode this one Android support v7 dot view space let's say action mode so let us complete our initialization now inside now inside the on check change listener I am going to do what let's say action mode dot I'm sorry equal to context main activity dot this dot start support action mode now inside it we we need to write a callback method now the callback method we have to define our own class that implements a callback method so here what I'm gonna do let us implement our own class let's say action action bar callback fine so as of now this class has not been created so what I'm going to do I am going to create an inner class whose name is what action bar callback and this class is going to implement action mode dot callback fine so this is our class since we are implementing this action mode dot callback so we need to what we need to override all the methods that are present inside the action mode dot callback so let us do one thing or enter implement methods select all these four methods hit enter and here we go here we are having all the four methods implemented on create action mode on prepare action mode 
on action item clicked and on destroy action mode fine so nothing great as of now now what we're gonna do inside the on create action mode we will inflate our contextual menu so let us write the codes action mode now this action mode is nothing but this action mode fine dot get menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot contextual menu fine now the second parameter is the menu and this menu is actually this menu fine now inside the on prepare action mode what we're gonna do let us write our action mode dot set title let's set the title as my action mode clear we just forgot one thing guys and in inside the on create action mode we need to return true right now as we move upside here inside the on check change listener now the in the else section let us finish our action mode dot finish fine so when we uncheck our checkbox the action mode will be finished clear now at this point of time let us run our application and check the output so here we go our application is running and let us start our contextual action bar so as soon as I click on the start contextual action bar my action mode is coming just above the toolbar this is not what we wanted we want this action mode to overlap this toolbar fine so and if you press the back button in that case also the action mode is getting finished fine so not an issue now let's do one thing guys let us rectify that error this error for that purpose what do we do let us go to our styles.xml now inside the styles.xml under the parent theme under the app theme we need to define an item item let's say android window action mode overlay fine now let it let's make it true now guys we don't need this android attribute fine because we are having this theme theme.appcombat.light.no action bar clear now guys let us run our application and let's check out what's output now again our app is running now this time let's check out yeah our application is working perfectly fine when you uncheck this yes the toolbar is visible if you check this yes our contextual action bar is getting visible in front of us now guys this is a default navigation icon if you want to change this if you want this if you want to change this icon so let us do one thing guys first let me write a comment for you what this window action mode overlay do so let us define the item let's say item and name should be what action mode close drawable fine now here we need to define an icon let's say drawable let's say this time refresh now again guys let us remove this android attribute we don't need it clear now let us run our application and see the changes so here we go now again if you click on this checkbox then see our navigation icon has changed now if you click on this again it will again act like a back button and it will take you back to the toolbar fine now again this one right so in this way you can provide any kind of icon instead of a back arrow button it's totally up to your wish but as of now I am simply going to comment this fine so as of now guys I'm going to comment this now next time if you want to change the icon simply uncomment this statement and you can place your own icon right here it's clear now guys at present our application is not looking so good we need to change the background of our action mode also so to change the background of the action bar what we are gonna do we are going to define our own custom theme so let us do one thing guys let us define our custom theme let's say action mode style clear now let us define our own theme let's say add the red style slash my action mode clear now again guys we don't need this Android attribute so let us create our own style alt enter fine so here we go this our action mode style has been created let us paste it upside fine now here at the downside 
earlier we defined theme for our custom toolbar and also for our pop-up theme and now we are going to define the theme for our action mode so to define the theme for the action mode we need to first define the parent so let us define our parent let's say add the red style action mode clear now here inside it let us change the background of our contextual action bar and also let us define the text color of our contextual action bar so let us do one thing let us define the item and say title text style clear now again let us define the style for it my action bar text style fine so let us define the style for it again create a style now at the downside it has been created Control X and save it here. Now again define the parent for it. So here we go. I have written something. So here I have defined the background color of this contextual action bar. Now let us create this color. Alt Enter. So this contextual background color I have defined inside the colors.xml which is actually a red color. Clear? Now inside the styles.xml let us edit our text color. Now this action bar text color also I have defined inside the colors.xml. Now this time I have written the white color. Now guys please don't confuse with the codes. At the bottom side I have mentioned the toolbar, my custom toolbar theme and this is the pop-up theme. And rest of the part above it from this part to this part is actually customizing your action bar at the top which is actually a contextual action bar. And all these themes are being called from our parent theme which is actually our app theme of our application so from here we have set window action mode overlay true and action mode style is what the theme of the action bar or or the contextual action bar which is my action mode and my action mode is where here whose parent is what widget.appcombat.actionmode clear whose background is this color and whose title is having this style and this style has been mentioned here whose parent is this and its text color is of this color which is actually having a white color now let us do one thing guys let us run our application so here we go our app is running now let's check this checkbox so our contextual action mode is now looking pretty awesome with a default back arrow icon I have made this text white color as we saw while styling the action mode and this icon is actually a default icon. You can place your own icon inside the drawable folder and call it from inside the contextual menu from here, right? As of now, it is a default icon. That is why it is not looking pretty awesome. So let us press the back button or we can uncheck this checkbox, right? Our application is working totally fine. So in this way guys we can customize our toolbar and also the contextual action bar and in the next video I am going to show you floating contextual menu. So till then stay tuned and thanks for watching this is Shrakes from SmartHerd signing off. Please subscribe to this channel if you like and catch you guys in the next video.